Oh, you're here already. I didn't expect you to have arrived so soon. Well, let's start. My name's Moby, and the film you're going to view is quite scary. Are you scared? No? Okay, then. Would you like to know where the other pet pals are? Holly is off in Chicago. She wants to enter the police force. Hold on, Holly. That's the car that was reported stolen earlier. You'll learn how to do a car chase. You have to calculate everything like it's a chess game. Policemen of Chicago must never be caught unprepared. Watch out. Soon two trucks will come out from that junction. That's impossible. Ah! Oh. How did you know about those trucks? That's what always happens in the movies. Watch out for the old man. Oh. And the apple cart. Wrong. There's no cart. <laughs> What's left? Smashing into a pane of glass? We'll never catch him! Don't worry. Action films always have a happy ending. Strange. We finished the chase without crashing the car. Get out of the car with your hands up! The pawn break! There's the crash. Oh. Sully, you speaking? Diva is in Paris, where she's trying to become a top model. But unfortunately, competition is harsh. Gentlemen, mesdames and messieurs, welcome! We are here to present to you the Autumn Winter Collection! Don't worry, girls, the show is going to be a big hit. Of course it will, despite you and your ridiculous little legs. <laughs> That's three down. Now it's my turn. <laughs> to be a top model, you must be really beautiful, really elegant, and really wicked. As I predicted, it was a huge hit for me. Hello? Who's speaking? Top Hat is the bodyguard of a Hollywood star. Madam? you learn by now that I always exit from the middle door? Well, I opened the middle one, but no one got out. How many times do I have to tell you? Divas like me always wait two or three seconds before getting out. That way the photographers have time to get their lenses ready. But madam, there are no photographers out here. There are. They're just hidden somewhere, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's great! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come 
Pio is in Milan, and he's in front of the cameras for his hundredth audition. Name and surname. Pio. Surname. Just Pio. Just Pio. With one S or two. You know that this reality will be shot entirely underwater. Can you swim? Of course I can swim. Look at me, I'm a frog! All right then, show me. But there's nowhere for me to swim. Do a dry swim. A dry swim? Yes, take a chair and do a dry swim. He's a natural. Yes, but ask him what other styles he does. You only do a frog stroke. Of course, I'm a frog. I mean, have you ever seen a frog doing a butterfly stroke? Hmm? Tell him we're not interested. You can go. We'll let you know. Next, please. You can do more than the butterfly stroke, can't you? This is Pio. Who's this? Nameless is with me in Venice, and he's busy practicing his favorite sport, soccer. We're at the four corners of the world, but all it takes is a phone call for us to come together again. And I think in a short time we're going to need it. Everything began in Aldo's library. Hi, movie. Hi, Aldo. Oh, hello, nameless. Good morning, director. Good morning to you, Filippo. We're gonna destroy it! Count on it. 
You want to go and play soccer, Nameless? Okay, but be careful. What? You want to play with us? So what position? Come on, then. Right side? How about you just sit on the bench for now? We'll put you in the game in a while. Maybe. Come on, pass the ball! Go, go, go for it! What are you doing? Careful! Two, two! Watch out, little rat! You watch out, you big bird! Did you find the book? But of course, here it is! Well, this is incredible. There's even a reference to Marco Polo's code written after he came back from China. Exactly, exactly. Hey. Hey. The code should be located in an excavation site near the town of Kebab, where I've set my right-hand man. Well, I mean my sister Alda. But why didn't you go yourself? First of all, I could never miss my daily dose of coffee. And second of all? Well, second of all, I'm a tiny bit scared. I understand. We need to get closer. I can't hear anything. Let's get to that wall behind them. We'll hear better from over there. <gasps> Alda even wrote to me yesterday. Read this. Dear Aldo, tomorrow we will enter into the Tower of the Sultan. I think we're very close to finding the code. I need help. There are a couple of very suspicious characters hanging around the tower. They're dangerous and I'm scared. Very scared. Reach me as soon as you can. Aldo, your sister is in serious danger, Aldo. When do you intend to leave? Unfortunately, I can't leave. But why? First of all, there's the coffee. And second of all, the fact that I'm a tiny bit scared. And I was wondering if you and the pet pals could... But of course, I'll go and call them right away. This is a pet pals mission indeed. We'll help your sister, mm -hmm. Alda, and we'll find the code. Look out! <gasps> oh. The ball always comes back, Aldo. First it hits the wall, then it bounces back. Uh, it didn't hit the wall, it hit me! <laughs> Hello, Moby here. A new and dangerous mission awaits us. We must recover Marco Polo's code. Marco Polo's code? Great! See you in London at the hippopotamus place. I'll just take off my makeup and jump on a plane. Theo? I'll wait for the audition results and then I can leave. Actually, I'll leave now. Top hat? Let me get Ooh, one. Top hat! Top hat! Will you be quiet? Top hat! Ah, it's you, Moby. We'll be waiting for you in London at the hippopotamus place. Okay, I'm on my way. <gasps> but Top Hat, where are you going? Relax, I'll pick you up in a month. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, let me get one. Come on, Nameless, let's go. Okay, but just one minute. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> they used to call me the Bombardier. Uh, 
Come on over if you dare. Show us what you can do. Ninjas play soccer much better than Maradona. Yes. Now he'll do a tunnel. And make the ball fly into the top corner and score. <laughs> Well done, Nameless. But now, an important mission awaits us. That chick will pay for this sooner or later. Yeah. We need to warn Crowitz that someone is on the trail of Marco Polo's code. Call her, Kun Kun. Hey! I mean, call her on the phone. Oh, hey! On the phone! Why can you never get anything right? You are such a fool. Use the telephone to call her. Uh, but I can't remember the area code. Ah, never mind. It'll be quicker if we go there in person. Uh, Let's put on our capes so uh, we can fly there. No, I don't wanna. I haven't figured out how they work yet. Oh, quit whining and follow me. <sighs> ah! Cabbage infusion, madam. You made the nettle jam with your own two hands, didn't you? Of course, madam, as usual. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you that when you take off, you have to hold your arms like Superman? You mean like this? Oh, oh. Oh. But without crashing into the ceiling. And when you land, you have to flap your hands like this. What are you doing, you fools? Are you talking to me or to him? I was talking who? to both of you. Hmm. Both of you who? Enough! Ah! <laughs> well, at least she didn't throw the tray at you. <sighs> Stop fooling around. I'm listening. Now yes. talk. Well, we were in Venice. I know you were in Venice. Hmm? Now tell me what you found. Well, we found that a dog and his friends are searching for Marco Polo's clothes. What? <laughs> so the rumors are true. Who else knows of this? Uh, no one knows of this, uh, unless you count all of those who are watching us. You better not breathe a word of this to anyone, or you'll have to deal with me. Now, what else do you know? Uh, well, we took a digital photograph of the dog while we were spying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Let me see that. Oh. Huh? This is supposed to be a digital photo of a dog? It seems a bit too digital to me. You two will leave immediately. Rajim has informed me that... Uh, who? Oh. Lucky there are no more traces. <laughs> <laughs> Rajim has informed me that near the city of Kebab, the search for Marco Polo's code is going very well indeed. 
Rush over there! I want that code at any cost! Show Regime this cup so he can recognize you. Go! Where? Let's go! Get me through the door this time? No, follow me! Ta-ta! Once used by Marco Polo as a refuge during his travels. <laughs> Read the third line of his diary. <clears throat> Having arrived on the summit of the Himalayas, I found, hidden among the ice, a magnificent palace containing all the secrets of the Oriental magic. That's our palace. Yes. So, Marco Polo also knew of the existence of the Palace of Magic. He did indeed. And then 800 years after him, I found it too. Pardon me, madam, but why, with all the magic you have at your disposal, don't you put your plan to action? I told you, that's not possible. Look I... for yourself, and oh. you'll soon understand what was done by Marco Polo. Huh? That's impossible. I just can't believe it. Yes. I thought that was only a legend. Now I understand. You must absolutely find Marco Polo's code, because then it will be possible- Be quiet! Brother, I- We have I'm... to be careful. Too many ears are listening. You want to know what Marco Polo's code is about? Come with me and I'll explain everything. 
You see, Nameless, Marco Polo wrote the code after his last trip to China, and they say it contains a mysterious secret about Venice. What, you want to know where it is? Unfortunately, nobody knows that. Maybe, as Aldo said, it's in the excavation site near the oasis at Kebab. Yes, it's very dangerous. That's why I've gathered everyone. But first, we need to go to London to see the hippopotamus. Woof! Whoa! Hey! Take us to the airport, please. No problem. Would you like a song? Yes, please. My granddad's granddad had a granddad His granddad told a story How he would meet with Marco Polo Marco Polo the one and only Marco Polo the one and only Marco Polo? Strange, isn't it? And at the bottom of the sea Marco Polo told him of a treasure that held a mystery would you like a song or a story? Tell me, friend. Would you like a song or a story? You can sing it to us. Oh, no, this mystery can't be sung because it's at the bottom of the sea. On the goon so deep, on the goon so deep, that's where the story will be. But you can't sing it under the sea. You're right, Nameless. It's a chicken and egg situation. Tell us. I don't think this story can be told Because it's in the bottom of the sea So let me know, friend, if you are ready Would you like a song or a story? Would you like a song or a story? Please, tell us in song And at the bottom of the sea Marco Polo told him I'm a treasure that held a mystery Would you like a song or a story? Please get a move on. My granddad's granddad had a granddad. His granddad told a story. How he would meet with Marco Polo. Marco Polo the one and only. Marco Polo the one and only. Marco Polo the one. <laughs> Good one, Nameless. Oh, uh, why do the British drive on the left? I just don't get it. Because they're left-handed, Tommy. Oh. best to change the password. Open? Seems a tad too easy. This way, please. I'm very sorry that the light in the lift isn't working. Oh, I seem to have stepped on something. Oh, it's just a button. You got it? Now don't press that button. Which one? This no. one? No, 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 no! <laughs> well, hello, guys. Back together again, I see. We're on the trail of Marco Polo's code. Really? On the code's trail, huh? Well, please be careful. I've heard some strange rumors going around about that book. That's exactly why we've come to ask for your help. Why, I'd be honored to help. It's always a pleasure doing business with you, especially with pretty young ducklings. Come along. The hippopotamus is such a lovely man. Yeah, he's like that with all the ducks. And this? What do you think this could be? It looks like a mobile phone. Very good, Pio. 
but with a slight difference. Instead of for talking, it's for listening. How is that different? You can listen with all mobile phones. I know, but with this phone, you can listen to other people's mobile calls within a radius of a hundred meters. Here, P.O., you try it. Ooh. Someone nearby is using the phone. Hi, Esther. It's me, Esterina. That would be my neighbor upstairs. So, how's that big fat neighbor of yours? The one downstairs? Who? You mean the hippopotamus? Huh? Don't even talk to me about him. Just think, yesterday I ran into him in the lift and he tried to impress me by sucking in his belly. <laughs> and what happened? One of the buttons from his waistcoat popped off and hit the light bulb in the lift. <laughs> uh, give me the phone back, P.O. It needs a little more fine-tuning. I think I found your button. Keep it. It's a micro underwater respiratory system. There are loads more over there. In the fish tank? Uh huh. What is that? This one? All I can remember is that I have to turn its head, and after a few seconds, something happens. But I can't remember what. Oh! Ah, here we are. Remote document reading. <laughs> A flying cap for secret message transportation. Oh, oh. And this is a voice-controlled rope. <laughs> Go! What we have here is a remote control for any fan. But it doesn't work. And the small pup? What's that for? This happens to be the most incredible thing I've ever invented. In this small pot contains a helicopter land, an international airport, a virtual city scale one-to-one, -one, and a theme park. I'm only kidding. It's my favorite snack. <laughs> Fell for it, didn't you? And what's this thing? Huh. What is it? Try touching its nose. Does it chew? Try it. Fell for it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I'm sure these objects will be useful during your mission. They're carrying something, so in a couple of seconds, Operation Code Recovery will come into action. Be careful. Failure is not an option. We found the casket. Let's warn Alda immediately. The code must be in here.
work, Bonba. I transferred the bananas to the usual current account. Hey! But I don't have a current account. Exactly! Remember to open one! <laughs> Sure, if they're going too fast, or I'm going too slow. Uh, ah. Ah. Of course, it contains an airport. All we have to do is open it, take the fastest plane, and then catch up with the other pet pals in a second! <laughs> but this is only pudding. Everyone else knew the hippo was only joking. Huh? <laughs> 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 You must be Aldo's sister. You really are two peas in a pod. Actually, you're more like two coffee beans. <laughs> what about Marco Polo's code? We found it! But then that inflatable monster made an appearance and some thieves stole the chest. Well, why didn't you go after the thieves? Well, because, first of all, the coffee was nearly ready. And second, you were a tiny bit scared. Oh, no, no. I hid so I could better observe the situation. Listen to what I uncovered. Well, it was about midday when a tough monkey stole the casket and then... Was anyone looking for me? No, Rajin. Take a seat. Can I get you anything? Your usual peppermint drink? <laughs> yes, but change the glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want that with or without ice? Without is fine. Good choice. Me 
we join you? You've been sent by the Crow Witch, I imagine. I'm Rasheem. My name is Kambaluk. And I'm Koo. James Koo. Would you like some sugar? No, we'd rather have Marco Polo's code. That's much sweeter. But what you said doesn't make any sense, Kambaluk. Be quiet! Yeah. Aren't we secret agents on a mission? We are! Exactly! And all secret agents mm -hmm. talk in code. Whoever needs to understand it will understand it. Here's the code. What's this? That doesn't look like Marco Polo's code. Mm -hmm. That's not the code. Ah, but there is something written on the back here. Lay this keystone on the floor of the most ancient library in Venice and you'll find the code. Hmm. Here you are. The key to find the code. And these are the Himalayan diamonds as pure as ice. And this is my afternoon snack. Yum yum. Those two must be secret agents or something. I've never heard such a load of coded nonsense in all my life. Charge! Get the stone, Tom Rat! Nameless, Rajim and his friends have cut us off and gotten away with the keystone. We could have won an Oscar for best special effects as well, but instead we'll just have to make do with best acting. Hang on a second, look over there! It's an imprint of the keystone. Let's extract it very gently. We have to be careful not to break it. From this imprint, we should be able to create an exact copy of the Keystone. Hang on a minute. Nameless, do you remember when you came with me to the library with Aldo? Try to remember what the floor was like. Doesn't it remind you of anything? Let's return to Venice. Marco Polo's code must be inside Aldo's library. So, did you find the code? No, but we brought you the keystone, which will help you to find the code in Venice. I get it. Marco Polo was very clever. Hand me the stone. Come on, hand it over, Kun Kun. What do you mean, hand it over? Didn't you hand it over? Me? But how? Don't you remember that while the rabbit was spinning around on the ceiling fan, you leapt forward like a puma and grabbed the stone? I never leapt forward like a puma. Perhaps what you meant to say was, I leapt forward like a panther. A panther? No, not like a panther. More like a puma. Or a cougar. Yeah. Will you two stop it already? Hand over my keystone! It's right here! I was just playing a little joke on ya! <laughs> Give me that, you fool! The last time a stoat like you played a little joke in my presence, I sent him to the North Pole in his underpants! Really? Show me, show me! <laughs> coon Coon, when will you ever learn to just be quiet? Why do you have to open your mouth when you can just breathe through your nose? Next time, just shut up! Hey! Be quiet! Hey, look! <laughs> No, I 
wouldn't do that. Why not? Because when Nacon is taken from the ice, something terrible happens. I was in my underpants when I found the big nut. I turned around and I shook my butt. I'm happier than a panda, so I dance all around. I'm happier than a panda because of this nut that I have found. Shake it! Come back! We have to get to Venice! Happier than a panda! Shake it! So I took another nut. So I took another nut. So I took another nut. Nut, nut. Can we go back, please? As you oh. wish. Why are you such an idiot? Throw it! Please, bring us back! Hurry! The helicopter is taking off! Venice awaits! Get in! Hurry! <laughs> What's wrong with you now, Kanbaluk? <laughs> what is this? How dare you sit in the middle seat? You know that if there's someone in the middle seat, I find it very difficult to see in my rearview mirror. But this is a helicopter. There's nobody behind us. What do you know? That's right, witch. What do you know, Coon Coon? You will pay dearly for this, isn't that right, Crow Witch? Right. Now unfasten your seatbelts. And do I have to unfasten mine too? I've never liked fools who pretend to be smart. You have to say! I'll never sit in the middle seat of a helicopter again! Let that be a valuable lesson to you foolish, conceited stokes. I'll be foolish, you be conceited! How dare you call me conceited, Coon Coon? I'm obviously foolish, and you're obviously conceited! What does conceited mean, anyway? Enough!
Here is my palace of oriental magic in the Himalayas, as Marco Polo first saw it that summer, all those years ago. So this is the famous Marco Polo's code? Look, there's even a bookmark! Well, no, Kun Kun, if this is a code, that can't be a bookmark. It must be a code mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. If you don't get back there right now, I'll send you back to the North Pole in your underwear. Oh, no. And here is where you'll find confirmation of everything you uncovered in the cave. So it's true. That is a second palace of magic, built beneath the lagoon of Venice. And these are the instructions to find it. Excellent. Now we can return to the Himalayas and open room 34. But madam, are we not going to venture into the palace beneath the lagoon? That won't be necessary, Ambrosio. Without the instructions of the code, no one will ever be able to find it. And the magic of my Himalayan palace will never be outdone by the magic of the Parallel Palace. heard me coming and run away. Be quiet, what? Top Hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that! <gasps> Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I think someone's taking the book. Nothing gets past uh, you. Uh, You're better than Sherlock uh, Holmes. Now what? <laughs> has just found a video camera. This means that the discovery of the code was captured on video. We really need to find that recorder. Recorder! Recorder! Be quiet. This is the perfect opportunity for a punch. What do you say? Should I or shouldn't I? I'm sorry, but next time all of you out there have to be quicker with your answer. I'm coming! <laughs> I'll handle this. One hand for the recorder and one hand for the compass. behind me. There must have been a hundred of them, maybe two hundred, maybe even more. Aldo, what happened? Oh. Top hat, go get Aldo a glass of water. I'd really rather prefer a cup of coffee. Did they steal anything? Yes, they found Marco Polo's code and took it with them. Marco Polo's code was here? It can't be. How is that possible? Mm -hmm. 
Good. A video camera caught everything on film. Could we look at the footage? Of course. Follow me. Oh. Good. Good. They've inserted the keystone. But that's... that's the Crow Witch. If Crow Witch is involved, it makes everything more complicated. Yes, Nameless, you're right about that. Every time we meet her, she gives us a rough time. Till now, we've always stopped her. But I wonder what she's got up her sleeve this time. There's the code! Let's go and grab it! It's there! It was there, Top Hat, but it's not anymore. Why is that? Because they took it. But how? Oh, it's still there! I can see it! How can you not get it? That's a video recorder. A video recorder is... Go! <laughs> no point in wasting my breath. You'll never get it anyway. So it's true. That is a second palace of magic, built beneath the lagoon of Venice. I don't believe it. So the legend of the parallel palace beneath the lagoon wasn't just a fairy tale told to me as a pup. Look, let's go. Nameless is calling us. It must have fallen from the cove. If I'm not mistaken, this is a bend in the Grand Canal at the level of the Rialto Bridge. Look! There's some writing on it! To contain magic, it was needed. With magic, it was created. And only with magic can it be blasted. Let's get to the Rialto Bridge! Mm -hmm. Are you coming too, Aldo? Well, I haven't even had my coffee yet. And then... And then you're a tiny bit scared? No, this time I'm much more than a tiny bit scared. I'm a huge bit scared! I hope you're all enjoying this moment, because it's the last time you'll be able to navigate the canals of Venice. I hate Venice! Ah. Very soon the waters will be nothing but a memory. Why is it you want to drain the canals, madam? What do you have against Venice? I know! I know! I, I saw the newspaper clippings back at the palace! Do you think you can do it, Miss Crow? Hmm. Witch! My name is Crow Witch. And of course I can. I've never failed. So, you intend to throw yourself off the Bridge of Size with your wings tied and stop just one centimeter before hitting the water? That is exactly what I plan to do. Crowwitch, banned for life from the Order of Wizards, retreats to the Himalayas. Hmm. Really, Coon Coon? You know you shouldn't have revealed that embarrassing secret. She's bound to teach you a lesson. Isn't that right, Crowwitch? Also because, as you may have noticed, the oaf is seated in the middle seat. Unfasten your seatbelt right now. I have a delightful treat in store for you. Me too? Yes, you too, Kanmaluk. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at water skiing, Kun Kun. Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet, my friend. <laughs> Now, just watch how I deal with that booty. 
Ah, Witch, you ain't got nothing on me. Did you see that, Kambaluk? Crow Witch has finally recognized my superior skill. Ah, uh, tell me, Coon Coon, what are we doing on the bridge with skis on our feet? Oh! 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 Thank goodness there are no crocodiles. Ah! Ah! When will you ever learn to keep your mouth shut, Coon Coon? Ah! Oh! Now I can finally enter room 34 of my cactus and drain Venice using the magic of dryness. No more canals. No more gondolas. I want roads, cars, and trains everywhere. This is the bend in the Grand Canal which appears on the bookmark. It's obvious the palace beneath the lagoon must be nearby. Okay, if you say so, but it's gonna be like searching for a needle in a clothes rack. Yeah. Yo. In a haystack, Top Hat. In a haystack. What do you already know about the two palaces? I can tell you what the legend says. What are you waiting for? Tell us! Well, around 1,000 years ago, when Marco Polo saw the Himalayan palace, he was amazed by its magic power and decided to build an exact copy of it in Venice. But the problem then was how to hide the palace. The only natural protection available was water, but building a palace beneath the water was impossible. Once again, here the magic of the palaces came to the aid of Marco Polo. In one of the rooms, he uncovered the magic to transform the beavers into builder beavers. These beavers built the Himalayan palace, and they also built the parallel palace beneath the lagoon of Venice. To contain magic, it was needed. With magic it was created, and only with and magic... And only with magic can it be blasted. Which means, if we're going to get into the palace, we're going to have to use magic. Magic is all about believing in things which at first seem impossible. Nice phrase. Where'd you read it? On a cereal box? Magic is dangerous. The last time I used it, I was a charming prince. And now I'm just a frog. Where are you going, Nameless? Okay, be careful. You could bump into some nasty characters. I'll come with you. What are you doing, Nameless? There's something written there. Watch the water. Believe in what you see. What does that mean? Well, look who it is. Find him now! Find him now! You will not escape me now. Find him right! Find him right! Yeah, no pal, I'll get a bite. Boiling base, boiling base. Wonder how good he'll taste. Boiling base, boiling base. I don't know, but I can't wait. Boil him, boil him, boil him up. Toss him, press him to the pot. Boil him, boil him, boil him up. Hurry up and eat him hot. You may express a final wish if you want. Speak up! What? You can't talk? I'd forgotten. Well, if you can't talk, 
Tell us your last wish using a signboard. Yes! A signboard! A signboard! A signboard! <laughs> you want to play with your little duck one last time? <laughs> okay, that's all right. <laughs> Very well. That's enough fun for now. Give me the little duck and get ready to dive in. I'm really hungry. Hungry! 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 must be in serious trouble. Guys, guys, I can't believe this. Something terrible is happening. Nameless has kidnapped a rat of gangs. No, no. Nameless has been kidnapped by a rat of gangs. And... Uh, Nameless? You're here? Nameless, show them what you discovered on the bookmark. It must be a sentence from the book. But how is it possible? Think, Blockhead. The bookmark was beneath the page. The writer wrote and then inscribed the bookmark. I don't get it. I'll give you an example. You be the page. This is the pen. And this is our bookmark. When Marco Polo wrote on the page... <laughs> The sentence was also inscribed on the bookmark. Got it? But there's nothing written here. It was an example, Top Hat. Watch the water. Believe in what you see. window, Ambrosio. There's a terrible smell of damp in here. Oh, right away, madam. Well, it's about time. Ah, you took so long finally deciding. Who are you? What do you mean? Who am I? You are the ones who entered the room with the magic of dryness. And you don't know who I am? Of course I know. Well, I just wanted to hear you say it. I am Chakara. <laughs> and over 3,000 years ago, I invented this magic to protect the coastlines from the vines of the November tide waves. What is it that you want? I would like to use the magic of dryness to drain Venice. Well, take a seat and follow the instructions and your wish will be granted. Red hummingbird feathers. <laughs> Flying stones from Mississippi. And ten dirty fingernails. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what I'll do. And then I'll add some green mud. And a sprinkling of rotten mushrooms. 
from below the cypress tree. And the spray of rotten woodworm. This should do the trick quite nicely. <laughs> Take these two leeches with you. They will obey you faithfully. Submerge them in water, and the water will disappear faster than you can say bye. With or without the final eight? With the eight, I can Debra! <laughs> <laughs> We need to take the leeches to Venice immediately and release them in the Grand Canal. We will put them right in front of the Basilica della Saluta, where they will drain the lagoon, and in the place of the canals there will finally be roads with motorbikes, cars, trucks, and trains. <laughs> I hate Venice, and I'll get my revenge! So prepare the helicopter. Tonight, we'll be in Venice. Is that clear? Yes, madam. Good. Now it's time to put the plan into action, but in complete silence. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Kun Kun. How many times do I have to tell you that in this palace, you must not scream? Yeah, how many times does she have to tell you not to scream, Coon Coon? <laughs> and no growling either, Coon Coon! And no growling, Coon Coon! <laughs> Believe what you see, but all I can see is a reflection of the Rialto Bridge. Elementary, my dear Top Hat. It means you have to believe in the reflection of the bridge. Nameless is suggesting that we use the reflection of the bridge as though it were a real bridge. What? You want to throw yourselves into the water, hoping that a bridge will appear beneath your feet? That kind of thing only happens in cartoons! Huh? Hmm. Uh, excellent idea. Pack me in. Actually, I'll go first. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! some sort of magic spell which keeps the water away and allows us to breathe. Are you saying I went into the water without having a swim? That's right, Top Hat. Oh, good. I was a bit worried. 
I just ate a carrot earlier, and I hadn't waited for the three hours. Do fish really wait three hours before getting in the water and swimming? Ugh, top hat. Look, it's a big panel with lots of keys. It's written King Midas. But isn't that the guy who transformed everything he touched into chocolate? Into gold, Top Hat. Gold! Why do all long-eared animals have to be so <laughs> ignorant? <laughs> That's not true, Diva! Well, name me one intelligent one, then. Uh, the, the donkey! No, no, wait, that's not what I meant to say. I'm sorry, I have to accept your first answer. It's written, in case of danger, first turn, then run. Oh, this must be the system they put in place to destroy the palace in case of need. Have you noticed, Moby? There's no trace of anyone being in here. It's strange that after finding the code, Crowwitch hasn't been in here. Well, the reason for that could be... Wait, let me think about it. I got it. Crow Witch didn't enter into the palace beneath the lagoon because she has no need for a second one. You mean the witch already found the other palace in the Himalayas? And therefore already possesses all the magic? Exactly. That has to be it. <laughs> Nameless, what's that you're seeing? Two of the lights are on. How mysterious. That's that mysterious. The warning lights come out above the key when someone's inside the same room in the Himalayan palace. Oh. What are y'all looking at? I know you too well. You're not capable of coming up with something that smart on your own. Actually, yes. That's all the fruit of my own intelligence. You don't have any fruit or any intelligence. Enough of all this. Tell us the truth or I'll plant you in the ground like Jack did with his magic seeds. Okay, okay, I admit it. Uh, I read it in that book. Yes, so that's it. There is a connection between the two palaces. So Crowwitch is now in the Himalayan Palace of Magic and has entered into Room 34, the Room of the Magic of Dryness. Magic of Dryness. I'll grab the key. Let's have a look. Hang on a second. Why don't we go up into Room 623 instead? The one of the magic that reads the past. That way we'll find out what our friend's up to. Excellent idea! Exactly what I would have done. Oh, what a stink! Ew! It wasn't me! I wasn't talking about you, Top Hat. I was talking about the dam. It smells like we're in a dirty laundry basket. <laughs> Not to blow my own horn, but to answer questions I was born. The answers I will show, tell me what you want to know. I'll go first. Where's the bathroom? Come on, Diva. We're here for another reason. We'd like to know what has happened during the last 10 hours in the Himalayan Palace of Magic. I'm not gonna tell you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not gonna tell you because I'm gonna show you. Remember, you've entered the Twin Palace of Magic, not some two-bit circus. Look into the crystal ball. Open the window, Ambrosio. There's a terrible smell of damp in here. Now, take these two leeches with you. They will obey you faithfully. Submerge them in water, and the water will disappear faster than you can say, ah. She wants to drain Venice. 
We'll have to stop that. Right, Pet Pal? <laughs> Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Or is there a light flashing on the panel of keys? What's that? No, you say? Guess I'll be off then. Ha! Think you can fool me. I'm going to check. Two lights are on. Someone has entered the parallel palace beneath the Venice Lagoon. How is this possible and how could it be? Do you know anything? Huh. Room 623. Magic which reads the past. So, the intruder could know everything I've been up to. And that I intend to drain Venice, and where the two leeches will strike. Ambrosio! Someone has entered the palace beneath the Lagoon of Venice. The plans have changed. So what should I do, my lady? You stay here in order to control the intruders every move inside the Venetian palace. Let me know as soon as anything happens. Right away, madam. Can I sit in the front this time? I feel a little sick sitting back here. Someone knows my plans. I have to release the leeches somewhere else. You two head toward the Basilica della Salute, and without being spotted, keep your eye on our adversaries. And call you immediately if anything happens? I can't believe you even have to ask that, Convaluk. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, actually, I didn't want to ask you, but Kun Kun suggested I should. You know what he's like. He doesn't understand. That's not true! Enough! Stop! Be quiet! Just get ready to do what you have to do. Yes, what is it, Ambrosio? Uh, madam, I've discovered who entered the parallel palace. How did you do that? Well, I loosened the tongue of the barman of the inn who sent me a photo and some information. Well done, Ambrosio. Send the photo of the intruders to the screen here in the helicopter. Switch it on, everything's ready. They're called the Pet Pals. Why, of course! It had to be them. I should have known. Very well. The rest is up to me. You keep on checking the panel on the keys. We'll wait for night to fall, so we won't be disturbed. Come on, let's hide and wait for Crowitch! Now hide in that bin! I saw it first! Yahoo! <laughs> Yes? Oh, um, 
Madam, at this very moment, someone's inside room 401. It contains the magic of words. <laughs> Nameless wasn't able to resist the temptation to learn how to talk. <laughs> They seem very small to drink up all the lagoon. They'll never be able to do that. You were saying... Nothing at all, just talking to myself. They'll manage, they'll manage. With these two leeches on the loose, the only water left in Venice will be mineral water! Somewhere else. This stinks. Huh? Hey guys, the water's going down. <laughs> what? what is going on here? Listen, Ambrosio, please don't tell me someone got into the room of the magic of ice. There's no way, milady. The warning light hasn't come on. Someone's put a stop to Crow Witch's plan. Hmm. Who could have frozen the lagoon? Nameless! <laughs> he must still be in the underwater palace. Let's go! <laughs> Didn't you hear? Let's follow them, you fool! That way we'll discover where the underwater palace is! Warn Madam. Tell her I found the parallel palace. <sighs> Why me? Do you want the truth? Yes, please. Well, it's because you're the smartest. So? So the smartest undertake the most dangerous missions and then get all the praise from the boss. Maybe it's better if I go. No, no, no. You don't have to. I'll go on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's icy and I forgot my chains! Whoa! Well, good evening, madam! Oh, it's you. What's the matter? I found the parallel palace. Did you find it, or did Ken Baluk find it? Well, Ken Baluk found it, but since I'm the smartest, I came to tell you. The smartest have to undertake the most dangerous missions, and then we get all the praise from the boss. So naturally... Now, get out of the water and take me to the palace. <laughs> Where's the palace? Follow me, madam. Your one faithful and intelligent stoat will guide you directly to it. Just follow me. Stop all this pointless groveling. Park your tongue in the garage and show me the way. Yeah. Stop all this groveling and... Be quiet, Ooh. Kun Kun. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Listen, Ambrosio. I'm about to capture the pet pals. I'll keep you posted. 
idea to freeze a lagoon and change the keys. That's right, a truly bright idea. Huh? Crowwitch is in the palace. We have to stop her. I wonder what she's up to. Charge, let's get her! But without being noticed. Charge, let's get her. Moby. Take the key to the room of the magic of dryness down. I wouldn't want Crow Witch to put it to use yet again. Right you are, Holly. And you, Nameless. You know what to do, right? Follow me. We'll control our enemies' movements from up here. Hmm? The chick! Hmm? <laughs> has managed to escape, and she's contacted the Himalayan palace. We have to be careful. She's not one to be trifled with. While I'm waiting for Ambrosio, I'll put my dear pet pals out of business forever. And all of you watching out there, don't you dare breathe a word of this to anyone. you like me to double? I want a double of Holly. On what body? What do you mean? Well, you must choose. Let me explain. Someone in this room must donate their body as a base for the transformation. Kun Kun, I choose you to be the base for the transformation. Me? But why not choose Kanbaluk? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Now, 
Go and capture all six of them. Couldn't I have stayed as Coon Coon? No, they won't recognize you like this. Huh? Is everything okay, madam? Yes, of course, Kanbaluk. Thanks to my idea, Kun Kun is about to strike the knockout <laughs> blow. of the game. I did it! No one can beat Crow Witch! No one! Transformed into Holly. He'll soon be back to normal. I use the magic of the double in this way and I imprison them inside the palace. There's no way out for them now. They're drowning like fish out of water. <laughs> drowning? Like fish out of water? Many over the centuries have dreamed, just as I have, of destroying Venice. But only I have succeeded in doing so. What I am about to do deserves the most reverential of sciences. And you, take some photos. I want this moment to be immortalized. to get free, since when can pet pals breathe underwater? We can't, but we had these. Catch them! I'm tired of this nonsense! Ah, no! No, no, no! Please don't shoot! Wait! Hurry! Let's get to the Himalayan Palace! It's not over yet! Ah. It's impossible for me to see out the rearview mirror. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. But I just told you last... <clears throat> You're not Coon Coon. You're the real Holly. <gasps> Okay, guys, now use the micro-breathing equipment. See you later. You wanted to come sneak around my Himalayan path, didn't you? No! Kanbaluk, unfasten her seatbelt. I'll gain altitude. 
All you need is a super idea. Well, I guess you could count me out. <laughs> I've perfected my magic and I'll stop five centimeters from the water. <laughs> ah, you can't blow! <laughs> stop! Stop! Witch? <laughs> I managed to escape. Coon Coon is back. Climb on board and I'll take you to safety. <laughs> Go! Let's get back to our palace. But how will we get back to the Himalayas? We'll cycle there if we have to. I tell you, this isn't over yet. They're getting away. What do we do? Uh, you want to reach in my motorboat? Good idea. But that isn't the motorboat steering wheel. It's the handle used to destroy the two palaces. Oh. Unfortunately, we have to use it. We have no choice. Okay, listen up. On three, I'm going to turn the handle, and then we all need to run away. One... But when you turn the handle, what'll happen? The palace will be completely destroyed along with the one in the Himalayas. All of it? No, Top Hat. Only the even bricks. Uh, well, what about the odd ones? The odd ones are going to fall on your head, like this. Uh, <coughs> Continue on, Moby, about the palace. Two and three. Run! <laughs> Nothing's happening. Yeah? There's only a small crack in the wall. There. Kowich put that stone in the wall to keep the palace from self-destructing. And now what do we do? It's over. We're done for. What a mess. This is hopeless. I don't want to see the end of this film. <laughs> don't worry. I'll help you. <laughs> of course. If we clap our hands very loudly, maybe we can make it fall. Can you help us too? Ready? Go! Go. Louder! I'm talking to you guys watching us! We've almost made 
Yes! It's a Run for it! Go! He went? Oh, yeah, we can reach it! Magic isn't indispensable. So why have you got the key to the room of the magic of eternal beauty, huh? I wanted to give it as a present. To whom? To you. But I'm already beautiful, Diva. Yeah, but not for very much longer. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. What a great film it was. I want to see it again. Hey, ho, hey, hey. Where are you going, Tosh? The film isn't over yet, and there's still a great surprise to come. Wait for us. We're coming, too. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, Top Hat. Whoever finds all the ingredients for the cake and reaches the checkout first is the winner. Okay, Diva. <laughs> hey, victory is mine! <laughs> the milk go! No, not these. <laughs> Uh, hey! I'd like a kilo of apples, please. You'll have to get in line. Uh, but there's no one else here! Next in line, please. Uh, I'd like a kilo of apples, please. Did you take a number for the queue? But there is no queue. There is no queue exactly, because we introduced a ticket system. Please go and take one. That way you can avoid the queue. Come on! It doesn't work! I know very well it doesn't work. There's no paper. But if you come over here, I'll give you some. It's still not working. Well then, this can only mean one thing. The maintenance man must not have passed by yet to fix the machine. I'm sorry, you'll just have to wait in line. Next, please. Next. Next customer. 
Next, please. Here I am. What can I do for you? I'd like a kilo of apples. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's time for my coffee break. I'll open again in about five minutes. <laughs> Next customer. Uh... A kilo of apples, please. A kilo of apples? Well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? Uh, uh, Here you are. Next give me customer. <laughs> Sorry, I win, Top Hat. But you didn't get any apples, Diva. Apples? You read the list wrong. I did? It said pineapples, not apples. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. The actors are arriving. Everybody's here. The only one missing is Diva. I hope she gets here soon. Hey guys, what's with the faces? Have you never seen a top model's hand luggage before? But you're not a top model, diva. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you saying I'm not a beautiful uh, top model? No, no. I what wanted to say was that actually you're not beautiful. Or rather, yes, yes you are. But not... Uh, just punch me, Diva. It's like next time I'll learn to stay quiet. <laughs> the first punch is about to be unleashed. Oh, no. uh, I'm so happy to see you again, Top Hat. Let's go, guys. They're waiting for us on set. One piece of advice for you. Never talk back to anyone under the impression they are a top model. <laughs> Action! Stop him! I'm to disconnect the plug. Good idea, Pio. How was I? Top hat! You were terrible! Terrible! You... Uh, I hated it! You better not forget any more of your lines, got it? Action! Coffee break. We have five minutes. Why don't you pour me a coffee, will you? Witchy, come on. Do I have to serve you coffee even during the breaks? <sighs> There you go. Ugh. Ambrosio, your coffee is disgusting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the cafe. You still can't remember uh, your line, Top Hat. Uh, what does your brain do all day? Uh, go bowling or something? Uh, when is the Italian actor arriving? Are you talking to me? To me? No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes. Is it yes or no? Yes, but, but I meant to say no. All right, then. Meeting with the writers. Meeting! Ugh, what a bore. Another meeting. I thought we'd finish filming. Let's get a move on. I'm having people over for dinner tonight. Everyone back to Crow Witch's house for dinner. Um, excuse me, Witch, but you do know how to stop the speedboat, right? Of course, I have the instruction manual here. That's not instructions, that's Marco Polo's code. I must have picked up the wrong manual. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>
Did you do it, Nameless? Well done! You recorded the film? Yep. Now remember, you mustn't put it on the internet. Mm.